ask everyone to go ahead and have a seat, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all are so attentive. I love it. So good morning and welcome to the Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Kelly Goral, the Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I am proud to serve as your MC today. If you ask any of the adults, and there are many adults in this room with you today, we would say that this is probably one of our favorite events of the year because we get the opportunity to celebrate each and every one of you and your hard work. Because let's be honest, sometimes being a good citizen can be really hard work. Wouldn't you agree? Or you don't, so it's so, so natural for you. So I am positive that each one of you here today has had to make a hard decision at some point in your life, and it may have not been easy to do the right thing. But that's why you've been selected to represent your school, because even when others are not looking or when decisions are hard, you take the right path and you make good decisions. And for that, we are very proud of you. So congratulations for being selected to represent your school as Citizen of the Month. We are honored to recognize you and thank you for your role as a good citizen in our schools and in our community. So at this time, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce someone who's an exceptional citizen, our school superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Okay, let's get started. Good morning. Good morning. All right, one more time. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome. We're so happy to have you here. And let's start by asking you to give yourselves a round of applause. Can you do that? Will you do that, ladies and gentlemen? We're grateful that you're here, and it is an exciting time uh, for us to celebrate you. And so it is always uh, a great opportunity for us to come together and I always look forward to our Citizen of the Month luncheon because I have the privilege as the superintendent uh, to stand before you today and not only recognize you but to really thank you for being a good citizen. Uh, as the Citizen of the Month, you represent the very best of your school. Uh, you help to ensure that our schools remain safe and that they are caring and nurturing places for teachers to teach and for your peers, for students to learn. Give yourselves another hand for that. And so you were selected based on scholarship. Can you say scholarship? scholarship. And you were selected based on character. Say that, character. And you were selected based on respect for one another. Say respect. Courtesy, can you say that? Courtesy. All that you show toward others and the responsibility and good sportsmanship. You are indeed a leader and other students will look to you as a model for their behavior. I'd like to share a quote with you from W. Uh, Clement Stone, uh, an American uh, business representative uh, who was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and who lived to be 100 years of age. He said this, have the, have the courage to say no. Have the courage to face the truth. Do the right thing because it is right. These are the magic keys to living your life with integrity. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Come on, let's give him a hand and yourself a hand for that. And so as superintendent, it is my pleasure to join so many other distinguished guests. We have our city manager, Bunting, here to celebrate with you. And I know that our chairman of the school board is going to introduce the school board a little later. But would city manager Bunting please stand? And let's welcome her. She's here to celebrate you as well. And we have principals and school leaders and educators from our schools, our deputy superintendent, our senior staff members in terms of executive members of the superintendent's leadership team. Uh, we have chief of secondary schools with us, 
We have other executive directors with us. Please stand, because I want the young people to see our school leaders and all of the individuals here to support them on this wonderful day. Would you kindly do that? And so congratulations once again on your selection as Citizen of the Month. You are the future of Hampton, and our future is indeed bright. Good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is your best. It is now my pleasure and honor to recognize the chair of our school board, Dr. Richard Mason. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Mason to the podium at this time. Will you do that? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's always such a pleasure to come to our Citizen of the Month luncheons to be able to celebrate each and every one of you. So I do want to take a minute and introduce our school board members. I see Miss Ann Cherry here. And I know some are on their way. If any others are here, I can't see these lights are just shining in my face. They're, they seem a little brighter today. I don't know if it's a new pair of contacts, but I can't really see out there too well. But I'm gonna go on and continue. I know we have some members of city council here as well. We have Councilman Steve Brown. Uh, Chris Bowman, I know I saw him when I came in. He's in the back there. If there are any other council members, would you please stand also? All right, so it's not just my contacts, I'm good. All right, so. Moving along, I also want to recognize our luncheon sponsors, as this special event would surely not be possible without their support. We have Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals, USI Insurance Services, Roof Systems of Virginia, Warwick Mechanical, Comfort Systems, Delta Graphics, Goodman Glass, Patrick's Glass, Patrick's Hardware. I wonder if they're related. They might be. They just might. RRMM Architects, Able Systems Incorporated, The Tile Shop, Centennial Contractors, and King Moore Supply Company. All right. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Gore. All right. Dr. Mason, and again, thank you to all of our sponsors, because I was listening to him. I mean, there are like, what, 10, 15 different sponsors that are here trying to recognize you and the good things you're doing. And as Dr. Mason indicated, like this special event would not be possible without their support. So we truly appreciate their partnership and their advocacy for public education. So now it's the best part of the luncheon. And as I ask every time, what would that be? I hear it. What's the best part of the luncheon? The food. Even though I think some of you may have had dessert before lunch because there's a lot of cookies missing, but hey, it's it, we're celebrating you. So we're going to go ahead and have our lunch. What we're going to do is we're going to come by your table and we'll let you know when it's time to get into the buffet line. And before eating, I do ask that our school board members, city council members, superintendent, DLT members, our special guests, and our city manager, if you could please come up front for a quick photo op and everybody enjoy your lunch. Hello, my name is Jace Banks. Hello, my name is Sanaya Johnson. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Ricks. Hello, my name is Carmelo Davis. And, and we attend Bassett Elementary School. Hello, my name is Zara Crawford. Hi, my name is Owen McKay. And, and we, we attend, attend Armstrong Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Cash Peters. Hello, my name is Nathan Bell. Hello, my name is Evelyn Coronado. Hello, my name is Sarah Bradley. And, and we attend, attend Patrick Elementary School. Hello, my name is Gemma Watson. Hello, my name is Zara Pender. Hello, my name is Marcus Wall. Hello, my name is Chad Moore. And we, we attend, attend Phillips Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Ryan Sullivan. 
Hello, my name is Elizabeth Wilson. And, and we attend Langley Elementary School. Hello, my name is Nathaniel. Hello, my name is Peyton Renee. Hello, my name is Sydney. And, and we, we attend, attend Asbury Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Ari Temple. My name is Marley Logan. My name is Kanisha Henderson. And, and we, we attend Mary Christian. Hello, my name is Kyle Lowe. Hello, my name is Kylie. Hello, my name is Menard. Hello, my name is Tiffany. And, and we, we all attend, attend Bryan Elementary School. Hello, my name is Lenaya. Hello, my name is Michael Walker. Hello, my name is James. Hello, my name is Nevaeh Jones. And, and we, we attend, attend Smith Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Anthony. Hello, my name is Fitz and Folks. Hello, my name is Desi Irvine. Hello, my name is Alexander Sukunek. And, and we, we attend, attend Mary W. Jackson, Jackson Elementary School. Hello, my name is Aja Westbrooks. Hello, my name is Ryan Winnie. Hello, my name is Caleb Chitwood. Hello, my name is Hallie Ray. And, and we, we attend, attend Forest Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Mahogany. Hello, my name is Lola. And, and we, we attend, attend Cooper, Cooper Elementary. Hello, my name is William Brown. Hello, my name is Sky Douglas. Hello, my name is Brinley Vickhouse. And, and we, we attend, attend Craft Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Lola. Hello, my name is Kayla Warren. Hello, my name is Navia Thompson. Hello, my name is Matthew Wolf. And we attend Major Elementary. Hello, my name is Donnie Coe. My name is Matthew Munoz. My name is Christian Palmer. My name is Bailey Fairclough. And, and we, we attend, attend Mary Elementary. Elementary. My name is Travis Williams. Hello, my name is Dion Denton. My name is Malcolm Powell. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Isabella Taylor. And we attend Burbank Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kaden Leonard. Hello, my name is Zoe Cassis Wilson. Hello, my name is Elena Spratt. Hello, my name is Etoy Medina. And we attend Mary S. Peak. Hello, my name is Eric Cole. Hello, my name is Naomi Rodriguez. Hello, my name is Ayana Davis. And we attend Aberdeen Elementary School. Hi, my name is Brilla McCoy. Hi, my name is Rowan Whiteside. Hi, my name is Eric Brownfield. Hi, my name is Andrew Fan. Hi, my name is Rain Holden. Hi, my name is Caden Sackens. Hi, my name is Eileen Argento. Hi, my name is Jamel Holden. And we attend Kilgore Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Janaja Thompson. Hello, my name is Kevin Smith. And we attend Flex Program. Hi, my name is Anaya Johnson. Hi, my name is Lillian Heilman. Hi, my name is Layla Glee. Hi, my name is Wiley Wheaton. Hi, my name is Ethan Mullen. Hi, my name is Jamaica Sumter. Hi, my name is Lauren Harris. Hi, my name is Daniela Garcia Martinez. Hi, my name is Phil West. Hi, my name is Khalil Doswell. And, and we attend Hunter B. Andrews Pre-K through Hi, my name is Jalen Burgess. Hi, my name is Haley Nair. Hi, my name is Solara. And, and we, we attend Sims Middle school. school. Hi, my name is Nasaya Sadler. Hi, my name is Skylar Williams. Hi, my name is Sophia Ulloa. Hi, my name is Tyler Fields. And, and we, we attend, attend Jones Magnet Middle School. School. Hi, my name is Adrian Hope. Hi, my name is Jackson Hudson. Hi, my name is Nyara Bell. Hi, my name is Jordan Canals. Hi, my name is Nevaeh Terry. Hi, my name is Olivia McDaniel. Hi, my name is Emma Kenyon. And, and we, we attend Kickatan High School. School. My name is Jalen Hayes. My name is Charles Deal. My name is Gabriel Wellman. My name is Gabriel Pacheco. My name is Bryce Gillis. My name is Deja Johnson. My name is Chanel Pestilence. My name is Xander Owen. My name is Anaya Harris. And my name is Renea Orange. And, and we, we all attend Phoenix High School. School. Hi, my name is Jordan Holder. Hi, my name is Isaac Griggs. Hi, my name is Nayara Harper. Hi, my name is Randall Banks. Hi, my name is Caden Oxenfeld. Hi, my name is Drake Barnes. Hi, I'm Kelvin Sapp. And, and we attend Bethel High School, the home of academic excellence. Hi, my name is Jalen Harris. My name is Gavin Sampley. My name is Jaden Warhyphen Jones. My name is Jalen Armstrong. My name is Ryan Walters. My name is Jamal Moore. My name is Driver Johnson. My name is Jacob Payne. My name is Gabriel Rivera. My name is Jamina Emerson. And my name is, is Alexandra Smith. My name is Tay Mom. Hi, my name is Kalia Mays. Hi, my name is Ayana Johnson. Hi, my name is Mary Wright. Hi, my name is Aiden Casey. Hi, my name is Jada Vinci. And, and we are attending middle school. Hello, my name is Irina Yakovets. Hello, my name is Kashton Roberts. Hello, my name is Reginald Irvin. Hello, my name is Ivory Stevenson. Hello, my name is Theory Singleton. Hello, my name is Angelica Jones. Hello, my name is Kenry Kibbert. Hello, my name is Camille Derrett. 
Hi, my name is Cordia Williams. Hi, I'm Jalea Moore. Hi, I'm Natalie Torres. And we attend Lindsay Middle School. Hi, I'm Kariah Henry. Hi, I'm Adriana Cooper. Hi, I'm Bria Wells. Hi, I'm Zion Custis Wilson. Hi, I'm Cameron Jimrett. Hi, I'm Taylor Mason. Hi, I'm Sarah Graham. And, and we, we attend Anthony High School. Welcome back. Did everyone enjoy lunch? Awesome. It was very good. And thank you, to everyone, for the food. It was delicious. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. So at this time, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker, Ms. Michelle Vinnie, who is currently the mathematics curriculum leader in Hampton City Schools. Previously, she served as a mathematics specialist, a math teacher, a CLT teacher, and instructional leader at the middle and high school levels at Sims Middle, Kikatan High, and Hampton High School. She's taught courses um, like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, and algebra two classes, so she must be pretty smart. She's also been recognized as an exemplary educator, having been voted as the Labor Leadership Award winner in 2018, a significant seven woman by Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Inc. in 2015. She was Hampton City Schools Teacher of the Year in 2014-2015, and a Hampton Roads Top 10 Teacher for the Hampton Roads Magazine in 2012. Ms. Vinnie earned her Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics from Christopher Newport University and her Master's of Education in Curriculum Instruction with a concentration in teacher leadership from Regent University. Ms. Vinnie is not only an exceptional citizen and leader for Hampton City Schools, but she's also a motivational speaker and is highly sought after throughout the Hampton Roads area. She provides inspirational messages of empowerment, overcoming challenges, and goal setting through spoken word, poetry, and audience engagement. She has the innate ability to reach out to those with which she interacts and inspires people of all ages to be positive and productive. So let's welcome to the stage, Miss Michelle Vinny. Good afternoon. You know, Normally, it takes me two to three hours to write a good speech. But this one, for some reason, took me a lot longer. Because I thought to myself, what do I say to a group of young people who have all the answers right at their fingertips with the touch of a button? And I also thought, this is a new generation, you know, and I'm from the old school. So I said, if I don't hook them in the first two to three minutes, I will lose their attention. So I said, I might have to open up with some dance moves. So I started going on TikTok and looking at the new dance moves. And after watching a few videos, I said, oh, no. I changed my mind. <laughs> Plus, my son is here, and I didn't want to embarrass him. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I am so honored to have been invited to be your guest speaker today. Do you know, you are very unique. And it's really a great accomplishment to be recognized as a citizen of the month. And you look around. Not all your friends are here. Only a select few were chosen. That means something about you. And it was just yesterday for me, I remember, I grew up in Hampton City Schools, and I was in elementary school. And they said, Michelle Russell, that was my name then, you're a citizen of the month. So I got dressed, I got on the bus, and I said, what's this about? And I remember coming into the building, and it was all these nice people. They were dressed nice, and the food was good. And then they had the cameras rolling. I said, ooh, I'm going to be somebody. And then they passed the microphone around, and they asked this million-dollar question to every kid. What do you want to be when you grow up? I said, oh, boy, that's tough. I'm only about eight or nine years old then. I, I didn't even know what I wanted to wear to school that morning. <laughs> so I started thinking. I said, I got to come up quick. The microphone's getting close to me. I want to be a doctor, maybe a lawyer. And I said, no, I like basketball. I'm going to go to the WNBA. So when they got to me, I said, I'm going to be a doctor. And eventually, I went on to college, and I became a math teacher. Well, that was even better, because I love inspiring, and I love helping people. But the point I'm getting to you is, I realize now that I was just blessed to actually have the opportunity to make a choice. I was blessed to be able to choose what I wanted to be. And you won't always get to choose, so when you do, make the best of it. You're going to have to make decisions, and some decisions will be harder than others. 
So let's have some fun for a minute. Let's practice, because practice makes perfect, right? Let's practice making decisions. We're going to play a little game. You want to play a game? Yeah. All right. This game is called Would You Rather. How many people played that before? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm amongst friends. So I'm going to ask a question. I want you to turn to your friends and answer the question of Would You Rather. Would you rather go swimming or to a party? All right, party goers. I heard some of y'all. Would you rather have pizza or chicken tenders? OK, OK. A lot of people love pizza out there. Well, how about this? Summertime is close. You want to ride on the plane or ride in the boat? OK. I'm going to admit, I want to ride on the boat because it's fishing season, and I love to go fishing. I'm going to ask a more serious one now. If you only had two choices, would you rather be deaf or blind? Well, see, <laughs> the reason why that's a tough one is because we all know that people that are born either deaf or blind didn't have that choice, did they? And sometimes in life, what I'm getting to is when you don't have a choice, you still got to play the cards with the hand you were dealt and make the best of it. So the last one that I'll ask you is, and you don't have to answer it, I just want you to think about it. Would you rather try a new opportunity and fail or never try the opportunity at all? Oh, you answered it anyway. I knew that was going to happen. And I, I want to tell you this. This is what I challenge you to do. Whether it's a new job, whether it is a test you have to take, whether it is a sports team that you have the opportunity to get on, don't let fear or failure hold you back from doing it. Because that stops a lot of people from being great. And the model that I keep with me is failure is not the opposite of success. It's actually a part of it. So just try, try, and try. Because what's going to happen is even if you don't win, even if you make a mistake, you'll learn from that experience. So the three things I'm going to talk to you about today, what makes someone a good citizen is number one. I think there are people that help people in need. They help your community. You know, in life, you reap what you sow. So you're sowing these seeds. Don't always expect something back. But when you do these good things, you reap what you sow. My son, Jamel Vinny, he actually, hey, Jamel. He came home one day, and this true story, he said, Mom, I want to do safety patrol. I said, Jamel, you want to do it all. I said, go for it. So he made a choice that he wanted to help the hallways in his school to make his school safer. I said, that's being a good citizen, Jamel. Someone falls on the ground. You stop. You help him up. My neighbor was cutting grass. His weed eater went out. I walked across the street. I said, borrow mine. We'll share it until you get enough money to get your own. But here's an example of something that hurts my heart that happens in our schools and around the world that's not an example of being a good citizen. And I'll tell you, every time it happens, I'm hurt. I see two people, young people, getting in a verbal altercation or maybe physical, and they have this disagreement. And it starts to get intense and maybe even fight. And instead of our young people saying, come on, go do the right thing, and you help a friend and you encourage the friend to do the right thing, they take out their phones. And what do they do? They record it. That's not an example of being a good citizen. You want to encourage your friends to do things the right way. Lastly, I think a good citizen is an honest person. Your words and your reputation will follow you, so be careful what you say. Because the truth is hard sometimes to speak. But I always say, speak the truth, even if it makes your voice shake. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is one of my favorites. Persevere when times get tough. Perseverance by definition, persistence in doing something despite the difficulty or delay in achieving that is success. How many people for school right now, school is pretty easy for you? Raise your hand. OK. So for those people, you haven't met your match yet. School is just easy. You might even barely study. You get your A's and B's. And then what happens is you meet your match. You get that class, and you struggle. And some people, they blame other people. They said the teacher's not good enough. They make an excuse, but the reality is, is you got to persevere through that struggle. 
because struggling with something doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means you got to work a little harder. You got to take another approach. You got to learn a different strategy. But when you fail that test, don't give up. When you make a mistake at home, learn from it and make sure you fight through those challenges. I'm going to give you an example. I joke about my height a lot. So I'm going to talk about a challenge that I have. Let me step out from behind the podium. How tall do you all think I am? Oh, my. Somebody said 5'8". I love you. So the truth is I'm only 4 foot 11. But I know. Hey, wait a minute. But the challenge is I played basketball my entire life. And so that's challenging because basketball is a sport where all the tall people have the advantage. So I think about it. How am I going to beat this challenge? How am I going to succeed in a world full of tall people in a sport that I love? I said I'm going to outwork them because guess what? A lot of people have talent, but they don't have heart. So I'll outwork them. I'll figure out a strategy to beat them. So when they're on the couch, I'm shooting 200 shots a day. Another thing I would do is they have tall arms. So I said I'm going to shoot faster because by the time they got the arm up, Boom, already made the shot. So keep this model with you. When you face challenges or obstacles, the challenge is not happening to you, it is happening for you. And that's by Joel Osteen. And I learn from that, from anything that I go through. The last thing I want to encourage you all to do is that I want you to be leaders. You are the future. And that's what my teachers and coaches said to me when I was your age. They looked at me, they said, hey, you're going to be somebody. You are the future. So I have a challenge for you today. When you leave here, I want you to continue being a good citizen and every day do something daily that shows I'm a leader. So the next time your friend struggles, I want you to say, hey man, you can do it. The next time your teacher is having a rough day, I want you to stop and say, hey, Ms. Farrell, how can I help you? And the next time your mom or dad shows frustration, at home, just go upstairs and clean your room. I promise, it'll make them happier. <laughs> the next time you look in the mirror, tell yourself, I'm proud of you. Because if you are motivating, if you believe in yourself, you'll be, out the, you'll be able to go out there and motivate other people. And so let me tell you that it is cool to be a leader. It's cool to earn a scholarship and have an outstanding grade point average. It's cool to be a productive member of your society and give back by providing service. Most importantly, it's cool to set goals for yourself and strive to achieve them. So I want to end this poem today with a little surprise. Jamel Vinny, are you ready? Yeah. Come on up. My son said, I'll take the first step in becoming the leader. So today I'm going to pass this torch. And he has a poem, he wants you to recite it with him, and he'll let you know what to do. Repeat after me. I can. I, can. I, believe. I believe. I will try. I will breathe. Breathe easy. Breathe easy. Pass, the test. Pass the test. Always, Always. Do, my best. do my best. We have pride. We are blessed. We are, blessed. We are, leaders, we are leaders of HCS. HCS. Thank you, everyone. Take pride in ownership of your success. Have a great day. Before Miss Vinnie actually escapes from the stage, we want to say a very big thank you. Um, and you know, she mentioned she played basketball and her height about being 4'11", but you actually played in college as well. Yes. So I mean, again, working hard and come, overcoming some barriers that makes you a good citizen. And look at Miss Vinnie; like she's a leader in our school division. She got to play basketball at, co at the collegiate level. And she has a great son who came up and read the most wonderful poem. So let's give him a round of applause, too. <clears throat> so 
So thank you so much. I know I thoroughly enjoyed everything you said to everyone, and I'm sure that there's a lot of takeaways that our students will take back with them to school. And we wanted to give you a small token of appreciation. Thank you very much. And thank you for being a great leader. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, so before we close today, I'd like to thank our sponsors one more time because most importantly, again, we could not be here without them. And the most important people here today are you all. So again, the one thing I loved that Ms. Vinnie said is to go home and look in the mirror. And what are you supposed to say? I'm proud of you. So everybody, let's say it. I'm proud of you. And we certainly are very proud of you. So as we close up, I've got one task. I want everybody to take their badge and take it off. Set it on your table. Look at that. Everybody follows directions so very well. <laughs> um, in a moment, Ms. Bowers is going to come up to the podium. And you got to listen really well because she's going to call out not just your bus number, but also your school. So when she calls your number in your school, you'll go out to the foyer and you'll get on your bus. And then you'll, those of you that your school's not called yet, you're going to wait here with us. Make sure that you take home your packets that you have that have your name on it because your packet has your certificate as well as a schedule that um, how you all were being videotaped in the back, that's going to air on TV on channel 46 so you can watch yourself on TV. And as we close out, I want to encourage you to keep doing the great things that you're doing and to be the leader for all of your peers in your school. Thank you and have a great day.